For months, we have been waiting for the Stand Your Ground hearing in the Trayvon Martin, George Zimmerman case, and it is finally here. This is something that we all have been waiting for because it really lays out the case, both for the prosecution and for the defense. We believe it's the only defense that George Zimmerman has, and to talk about it today is our own legal contributor, Ryan Kearns. Ryan. Tell me about it. What's going What's going to happen? What should we expect to see? Well, this is the major battleground in this case, is this hearing over the Stand Your Ground Law. If you'll remember, the Stand Your Ground hearing is based upon the controversial Florida law that says a person has no duty to retreat. When they are attacked, they can respond with deadly force. Now, this is the major defense for Zimmerman because if it's a traditional self-defense claim, you have a duty to retreat unless you're in your own house. You have a duty to retreat, and then you, you can only respond with deadly force if deadly force is used upon you if you fear for your own life. In this case, in the Florida law, you don't have to wait until that level is breached. You can respond with deadly force simply when you fear for your own safety. There's no duty to respond. So Kelly though, last week the gun was tested and Trayvon Martin's DNA is not found on the gun. Does that gut, literally gut, George Zimmerman's defense? It really doesn't, Allison. I mean, as we talked about, it shows the fact that Trayvon's DNA wasn't on the gun only shows that Trayvon never touched the gun. Uh, George Zimmerman could have been fearing for his safety from a number of other ways. And that is what is going to be brought out at the Stand Your Ground hearing. Now, Marco Mira, Zimmerman's attorney, referred to the Stand Your Ground hearing as a mini trial. O'Mara will have a chance to kind of trot out everyone who can talk about uh, George Zimmerman's character, that he's a good guy, that he's peaceful, all of these kinds of things, and say that, you know, he wouldn't have acted unless he absolutely felt like this was the only, that this was his last resort. So we're going to see a lot of people who are going to stand up for Zimmerman and are going to say that he acted as a last resort and we're also going to see the prosecution's uh, witnesses as well so we're going to get a really nice sample at the stand your ground hearing of what we would see in a larger criminal trial. 